Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to a uh, Tuesday edition of uh, the Access Trader.com a uh, nightly wrap-up show hope everybody is uh doing well if you stumbled onto our channel thank you very much for tuning in spending a couple of minutes uh all we ask is just take a moment to uh like the content that's it like the content uh share comment any, anything you'd like to do to get involved uh your experience could help somebody else out and vice versa so we always uh encourage uh, a good healthy uh dialogue so let's talk about the tape so yesterday if you guys remember it was only yesterday, uh, the NASDAQ engulfed about three days worth of selling, okay? And we reclaimed back the 20-day moving average. And the question was today, can they keep it going, right? Yesterday, we had some super-duper aggressive breakouts, including the video. We'll get to that uh, in a second. But the key was that we did indeed uh, reclaim back uh, not only the 20-day moving average that we talked about, which is the $400 level, but we reclaimed back the 5 and the 10-day. The question was, were, were the bulls able to get above and start building above yesterday's channel? We got that answer uh, very, very quickly. As you can see here, this is now the highest close, right? This is the highest close in this whole formation from this gap down that started the, the initial selling in 2024 of this candle of 40609. You can see here, today's close of 40577 is the highest close in this formation. Now we have two full-bodied uh, green candles, which means they're higher closes than opens. The key now for tomorrow, from the macro point of view, is start building above this uh, 40650s level. That's the key. If the bulls can start reclaiming back and start really building above this 40650s, then it's gonna start filling in this whole gap of the move on the downside that we started on January 2nd. And obviously, the longer it continues to build above this 406, 40650, uh, area, the higher probability goes to its all-time highs. And if you look at uh, the stocks incorporated in the in the NASDAQ 100, you, you can see, you know, we talked about a lot of names yesterday. Uh, Amazon got really, really strong. Again, just like the Qs, this is the highest close in this whole formation. A uh, name, for example, like uh, Microsoft, we talked about this last night as well. This is the highest close in this whole formation. Uh, NVIDIA, you know, went ballistic, went absolutely ballistic. Uh, congratulations for all you guys uh, who held it through and made sales all the way to the top of the li linear regression line at 543. I tweeted it out when it was roughly around 538, 539. I go, my crystal ball, if it's working, I think we see uh, 543 today. I wasn't, you know, guessing. That's where it was. That's the linear regression line. That's the whole point of, again, these squiggly lines that you know have have uh, no reason to be there well there's a reason they'd be there they're telling you where supply is coming in and technical sellers uh made sales into emotional buyers and you can see here what happened in the last hour we literally went from 343 uh and we sold off about you know 10 12 points uh into the close but regardless congratulations guys phenomenal phenomenal trade this is the first really big uh macro trade uh for the year or well, at least the start of the year it's only been nine days uh, we'll get to the pivots in a second, but an absolute monster. A at some point today, it looked like it was literally skipping dollars. So just a fantastic, fantastic move. Uh, and if you roll it, God bless. That is absolutely uh, the way to do it. So great job uh, to all you guys. The one thing, right? The one stock that under the radar, maybe not, you know, maybe not under everybody's radar, but under the radar did it exactly what it shouldn't have done. Well, it all depends who you ask. And that was Tesla, right? If you guys remember, if you guys remember a couple of, you know, maybe two, three videos ago, um, if you guys remember Microsoft, Amazon, and Tesla all held their 50-day moving average. It's like two, three videos ago. And I said, well, now we have a definitive line in the sand. So if they, if these stocks start building below those channels, there is going to be a problem. Well, Tesla got below the 50 day and it, it was a perfect day for it because nobody really was looking. We look, you know, we were looking because we traded it off the 50 day, only a couple of points, but the trade hasn't really started yet. 
So we were always watching. Obviously, Tesla's my favorite stock. As much as I love uh, NVIDIA, it's you know now nowhere close to uh, the great spot of my heart for Tesla. Um, so we saw it playing out. We traded it down there. We traded it below the 50-day moving average. And now the question is, how long can it start building below the 50-day? Because the whole point of, and again, it has nothing to do with the PS60 theory. It has something to do with just basic technical analysis. Above the 50-day, again, if you're a brand new trader, you should really write this down. I mean, I've said this probably in nauseam over the last uh, 14 years, but the longer a stock is below the 50-day moving average, the higher probability it's going to go lower, right? Uh, and again, if you go through uh, any charts, right, any charts, you'll see what happens when stocks confirm the 50-day, right? So let me just show you here. So here, right here on September the 21st, right, on September the 21st, it, it closed on the 50-day. The next day, it took it out. And basically, the next, you know, next week, uh, Tesla went from 254 all the way down to 234. Nice move, right? 20 point, nice move. And the upside, same thing. It closed above the 50 day and look what happened. It got went from 250 uh, all the way up to 268, right? About a week. So fast forward to kind of where we are present day. So we are right, we, we basically closed right below the 50 day moving average. So this is the one I am definitely, definitely watching for tomorrow's session because If they could confirm the 50 day and start confirming today's channel, well, we have a lot of downside, guys. Maybe it won't happen in one or two days, but there's gonna be a lot of downside that potentially could happen. So if you're a bull, right? If you're a bull, you better hope that Tesla reclaims back that 50 day moving average in the next day or so. Because again, if bears start getting very nice and cuddly, right? And put on their PJs and put on and, and get their hot cocoa and get nestled in below the 50 day moving average, there's going to be a problem. So if Tesla, uh, it really needs to get get back above the 50-day tomorrow. But if it reclaims, if it starts confirming, especially the December channel, we're going to have a pretty decent trade uh, on our hands. But on the other side of the spectrum, there's a lot of names that price improved, right? Based on yesterday's channel. Again, Amazon, very, very strong. Microsoft, very, very strong. AMD, very strong. A lot of these semiconductors are just going nuts. Uh, SMCI, a name that's way too thin for me to trade. Obviously, NVIDIA is, you know, a complete different beast than MSCI, but still, you still have a big, big move there. Um, so there's still a lot of really good value to the upside. And if you look at some names, let me give you guys some names for tomorrow. They haven't yet even taken down their macro channels yet to the upside. Again, the macro channel is a, a series of weeks and months, just like NVIDIA when it broke out. It had that really aggressive push. So look at names, for example, like Dash, right? Dash, you know, put in initial highs in December. This is like a month, over a month of distribution here. You know, watch Dash for the next couple of days. This thing looks ready to go. Look at Shopify, right? Shopify looks like it's ready to take out the top of the channel as well. Uh, Microsoft, again, looking great. Again, it's very, very close to busting out of this top channel. Uh, look at Apple. Again, Apple had a big reversal day yesterday engulfed one, two, three days, second day in a row, put in a green candle, again, higher close than open. Today was uh, an inside day for Apple, meaning that it's just, it was a rest day. It was an absolute rest day. I still like this thing, guys. Let's watch this thing for the next couple of days. If they could just get above this channel and confirm the five-day moving average, I think we get a two, $3 push into the 50-day supply. So that looks uh, really good uh, as well. Uh, Amazon for the third time. Um, you know, highest close. Watch Amazon tomorrow. If they could confirm this little baby channel here, it could extend as well. So the bulls, you know, again, I don't want to say they're back. It's very, very tough to even turn around and say, did they really go anywhere, right? I mean, it was a three, four day hiatus and now they're back stronger than ever. NVIDIA had an absolute parabolic move in the last couple of days, but now, you know, the dynamics are shifting. We got now a very, very big level on Tesla, we're going to watch for tomorrow to the downside. Uh, obviously, we're going to watch Microsoft, Amazon, Apple, uh, Docu, Shop, uh, NVIDIA. You know, uh, NVIDIA probably needs a couple of days now of rest. Again, the stock went yesterday from 485 to 543 today. It probably needs a couple of days rest. So I'm going to start looking to buy this thing back into, into some rising daily support. Not necessarily even, you know, 60-minute support, but some daily support in the next couple of days. So that looks really good as well. So let's talk about the pivots uh, really, really quickly. 
Uh, again, here's the pivot that we took this morning off the 50-day on Tesla, 234.90 if it builds below can flush. I thought we were going to get a move into that 231 wash. We didn't quite get it. My our lowest cover, my lowest cover was in the 232s, but you know, nice little move, two and you know, two two and change. And then the stock basically did nothing for the rest of the day. But again, first close below uh, the 50-day moving average. Uh, snow, not a big move. Gave a little pop. Uh, 197 needs to build. Uh, here is snow, right? Here is snow. Took out the 97. Went to like 98 and change. Came back in. Nothing really there. Uh, Roku didn't do anything. Uh, Microsoft confirmed a little bit late in the day. 7520 needs to build. And this is now the highest close in the whole formations, you can see it's only, you know, only up by 50 cents from the pivot. But the point is, this is the highest close in this whole formation. The futures continue to build tomorrow. It will go higher. Uh, Meta, not a big move. It went up about a little less than a dollar. came back in. Uh, Apple never confirmed. I am still watching this thing for tomorrow. Uh, Amazon went big. Uh, 149.40 uh, needs to build. Here was Amazon. Uh, took out the 49.40. Traded all the way up to 151.70. A lot of still call buying coming in on Amazon and this is the one uh this is the one that just went bonkers um I missed by the way I missed if you see this uh if you see the game plan here 525 needs to confirm that's the opening range high um we were I was bidding five six five sixteen eighties for a washout into rising support guys take a second take a look for a second what the low of the day is five sixteen ninety Right, so the stock basically just went straight up from there, confirmed 525 and a quarter, and went all the way up to 543. Just an absolute uh, rock star move, and that's it. You know, that's it. So uh, the most important part, uh, the most important part is the bulls are very much alive. Uh, they've shaken off early, uh, early 2024 uh, weakness, if you can even call that. The question is now that can can they continue to build? But if they don't build we got Tesla in our back pocket because if there is a market pull, I don't know, there's, there's, if there's a better stock to trade to the downside than Tesla, well, it's not out there yet for me to, to find, but we are definitely uh, ready and committed to both sides of the market. Now the question is, which side confirms? Just like every single day. Guys, God bless. Stay healthy, everybody. And with God's help, I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.